For millions of years, mankind lived just like the animals. Then something happened, which unleashed the power of our imagination. We learned to talk. And yet, every day, we find new ways to butcher, murder, and rape language while we're talking. And lately, one such term that has been fashionably misused and abused is sound pollution. I'm sure most of you must have noticed that while the starting credits were rolling for this video, there was no sound, right? If somebody was sitting next to you and watching this video with you, what would you say to that person? Hey, check for sound, check for volume. Would you say check for noise? No, right? Then why use the term noise pollution? Why isn't anybody using their common sense and raising a flag on this term? Why aren't... And I have seen people using this term noise pollution on status updates, on Twitter, in news articles. And I'm sure, like by now, looking at the state of affairs, I'm sure it's probably printed in some textbook as well. Is this what we're headed at? Do we, do we really want to uh, not let our future generations know something, know a simple word like sound? Do we not want to introduce them to the purity of sound and then maybe introduce noise, which in itself is polluted sound? So it's like saying, you know, FC College Road. It's like saying Ferguson College College Road. That's exactly what we're doing with this. And, you know, I can, take it, I can also take it with a pinch of salt. Maybe people are trying to call it noise pollution. They're being cynical and sarcastic that, oh, there is no hope left for pure sound, you know. Maybe it's all noise and it's only getting added. But then, maybe then we should start saying smoke pollution as well. Maybe we should start saying sewage, sewage pollution as well. But instead, we still continue to say air pollution and water pollution. Then why, then why this discrepancy when it comes to sound pollution? So I think my episode today is basically a request to all of you that please start using the term sound pollution so that we create a sensitivity to sound and not to noise. Let's not make the situation so hopeless. Maybe we can start being a little more positive about the condition of this planet, about the condition of humans on this planet and how we are going to deal with this one word at a time. So I think my word for today is sound pollution. Let's see if I can come up with more words. I'd like to present more pieces like this. Also keep following all our posts on uh, Spaces of Lucidity. Hit subscribe if whether you like us or not. Please uh, give us the pleasure of your comments and come back for more. Thank you.